What's that? Because I know you have a. I've seen your posters at like around campus. Do you have any of those? Yeah. Okay. Dude, can we see some of those? Yeah, yeah. It's funny. It's like I'm taking the mask off. <laughs> this is the guy that puts the flyers on campus. <laughs> yeah, this is one. So it started off a lot more um, like involved in this. Like for my first like project that I released, I, there was just like way too much on the flyer. So now I've just got the picture, the link, maybe something makes it a little bit interesting or funny. I wanted to put these out uh, South by, but the song wasn't ready. You'll see some of these pretty soon. Um, but I guess it wasn't ready because I wanted to get a girl featured on it, and she will be, so stay tuned. song first of all is a story and the overall theme is like a story of comfortability with yourself you know comfortable for the point where like you really like yourself you should love yourself and not be ashamed of who you are and like you might not think that's what weird's about but that's what it's about to me would you consider yourself weird or do you think others have I mean definitely but it's something to be proud of in my opinion uh, and this is my room which is the smallest one in the house which is the reason for the bunk bed I got that from my um, from my aunt probably when I was in junior high. I mean, everybody likes to look at like sports montages, and I looked at Michael Jordan's a lot because it's inspiring, but also because of his story. You know, didn't make the team the first time we tried, but he became the best of all time. Self-explanatory. <laughs> I do pull up sometimes. Keeps me grounded. <laughs> I try to read it every day. I've got two mini keyboards, a drum pad. There's two mics in here, and then this laptop is like specifically for music. And some of this I bought myself. Some of it I actually got for free from a friend of my cousin's over Thanksgiving. That was like the biggest surprise ever. That just made me feel so good and um, made me think about, yeah, maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. Candy. Oh, I think you'll like this one either way, though. You're the reason I'm writing my feelings. I learned my lesson so I don't question. This message was destined to make things right. Between you and I, I don't want my old shawty. Don't want that's any part, problems. That's why I feel like people start getting I know you like, got options. This is like celebratory. Right. We, we can start us some coffee. I've been working with Benji for about a year. And well, he's always really positive. Benji's always got like new ideas every time. And He's not trying to do the same song. He's really trying to conceptualize a record. Touch me. Maybe like, wait, touch you? Wait, touch you? Because it'll be a girl yeah, talking right, at this point. Or something. And okay. it'll be a buildup. And probably halfway through that yeah, buildup, you're like, a little bit in the background. What are you getting? But a lot of times when I work with uh, bands, they'll have all their songs written. They come in, they just want to document the song, get it done, see what ideas I can add to it. But it's kind of fully fleshed out but with Benji it might change directions a month later or two months later it could be three new songs and to me that's real refreshing because every time he walks in I don't know whether we're gonna just try to fix up an old thing or do like three new things and that's that's cool to me Candy. again I think that Benji right now is trying to do something between like singing with two of his voices and rapping as well so it's not really like a style as much as it is like he's exploring how he's gonna get his sound. I definitely do rap sometimes, but when I was going into music, I definitely wanted to sing more. But as far as the future, I see myself more bridging the gap, getting more melodic with it, because melody is the thing I like most about music. I feel like as an artist in Austin, you can feel comfortable doing what you're doing because you're surrounded by a lot of like-minded people that are creative, are expressive, are weird, you know? But I also feel like that it's hard to um, stand out or hard to keep up with how fast Austin's moving. But at the same time, that's inspiring, you know? And if you've got a competitive uh, mind that, that can really keep you on your toes and like, how can I take advantage of the city for what it is, you know? How can I keep on getting better? Just the city itself makes you feel good to be doing what you're doing, in my opinion. 